Welcome back to Steven's Sausage Roll. We now have 122 sausages. That's a lot of sausages. That's more than I eat in a year, honestly. I don't have that many sausages. Who eats that many sausages? I, uh... I guess it's one sausage every three days, so it's not completely insane, but I... don't. <laughs> Crater. Oh, there's a second one up there. For a brief moment there, I'm like, oh, it's a one sausage. Those are always slanty, slightly anticlimactic, because they could still be just as complicated, but then you finish it and it's like, oh, the number went up by one. That's a weird little quirk of this game, is the fact that, uh... Your save progress... Like, your, your, it's, your, your progress is measured in sausages, but your, uh... <laughs> but it's not, like, like the, the number of sausages you get for puzzle just varies so wildly. Okay. Up top, there is... Okay, that, that part's relatively straightforward at the moment. There's just a, a guy hanging out by a double grill. There's a ladder hanging out next to it, so I could just be like, Aha! And then it's cooked. And... At that point, I suppose I would just come on down here. And have a swell time. Alright, so that's one well, That's one cooked. I doubt that's the solution. But I'm going to, uh, accept that for now. And we can push you up. You're cooked on those ends now. Ew, that's where things get more complicated. So now, I'd want to push it over here to cook it. Basically, that's how I'd cook that other side. But how do I do that? How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. Um... Presumably the other sausage will play some role, because it would be incredibly odd if they didn't interact with each other in some way. That's not how the levels work in this game. That said, I don't, that said, I don't necessarily know what to do next. Um, so, I, these, these, be these beams are in my way, so I can't stab it and just hold it over the coals like this. Because I wouldn't be able to move into that position in the first place. Obviously, I can cook it by just pushing it. In fact, I think it, I think it's still technically cooked right now. I should probably back out of that. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. It, I might it might have been cooked, I'm not sure. Uh, so... Issues have arisen. Basically. Because I could... Oh god. Movement problems now. Uh... Let's just push you out of the way so I can turn around. There we go. I could just push you up and push you onto the grill over here, obviously. But I don't think that would solve... I think that leaves me without options for grilling the other side of you. It's like, haha, And now it's there. Once again, trapped in a corner of sadness. And ill repute. In fact, both times that I try to grill it, it ends up getting stuck. Unable to be pushed on the other side of the grill. Which makes me wonder if there's a way to put it up on top of the top of the grill, because that one's nice and useful and just solves your problems for you. Or more likely, there's some way to use this guy to solve things, and I'm not really sure what I would do to do that. What would I do to... Ha what do I want to do with you to grill something? How, how does this help me? See, as of right now, it starts out up there, and you have to walk along it to get it down here. I don't think you can get it down there here any other way. The timing might be different, but the part about where I just rolled down and brought it down here, that part seems straightforward enough. So now it comes down to... How can I use this to cook the other one? And I don't necessarily see a solution. Cause I, I don't see how I could push it down from here, or from the other position, put it up, push it over to the left. Well, all the... Well, the recent puzzles that we've been doing involve falling off ledges and getting things stuck. So... Let's try stabbing this guy. Because that's what every puzzle's been lately. Let's see... There's a ladder going that way, so I could, I could use this ladder. That would allow me to move forward. Then I can't use this ladder. Okay... So that one doesn't let me grab that ladder. I can't cook- I can't stab it if it's on my left. If I stab it on my left, I can't go anywhere, so let's try stabbing it from below. That allowed me to use this ladder. And that allows me to use the second ladder, so it passes that test. And then what do I want to do? 
No matter what I do, if I'm going to roll forward and it's going to drop out of my hands. If I drop it right here, the fork's going to be right at the ladder, I believe. Which means I'll probably pick it up. If I use the ladder. Yep. Defeating the purpose of doing any of this, because it's just... at square one, so if I do it like this... Now it's on my head. It's got to be useful in some capacity. Let's see. The way I figure it... Can I walk one... I can walk one square into the... Yeah. The way I figure it is we can push it... We can push it onto the vertical grill first. Slide it over. And then... I can reach out and grab it over the... But the isolated single grill. The question is, how do I get it down? In the first place... That part I'm a little less sure of. Can't move that sausage at all right now. Oh, hey. No, that doesn't help. Oh, it's sideways now. Ah, that's why there's two ladders. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I want to get it? So I want it to be vertical, like this. And then I want it to get off my head. How am I going to get it off my head? Um, I think I could technically get it off my head like that, but then it's stuck. That doesn't necessarily help me. Huh. We're close. I just needed to get off my character's head now. Let's try the other sausage. Yeah, the sausage probably still plays a role, so... If I go over here, it will come off on this rock. We'll try rolling the other sausage? Please? Um, we don't want to face... Whatever we do, we want to avoid facing the fork or I'll grab it. Oh yeah. That's why that's shaped that way, to perfectly drop it on top of the grill. God damn, every single detail of these levels matters in such specific elements. And now, yep, I pushed it like I said I would. There we go. There we go, it even has a perfectly placed exit to let you succeed right at that moment. It's like, you've, you've made it, here's your reward. That was a surprise, that place all the way up on the right must be part of this puzzle over here. I'm trying to clear the pinks in this direction, in this order, but that messes with my order, because the, uh... It's hard to tell where the, uh, how the whites and pinks match up. What was this one called? Slope View. Hello. What's your gimmick today? I see the problem. Okay. There's two horizontal sausages, and two grills are located in a way that would, where it's best to cook them using horizontal sausages. Uh, and then on the far, far right is one that you that, that is good for kicking, cooking a vertical sausage. I'm just going to call them that at this point. This is vertical, those two are horizontal. Doesn't actually make sense, I get that, but we're going to go with that. Uh, the problem is that this one that's good for cooking horizontal is uh, up one level. And those two are down there. Okay. Well, there's clearly a ladder here for a reason, so I'm just going to go ahead and get on top of this guy. And just see where it leads me. Probably want to keep. Probably want to hold on to my fork. Maybe not actually. Oh, that, that's not enough to drop the fork anyway. Okay. Um. Oh. Am I in trouble here? I can get off here. But then I'm doomed. <laughs> so let's not get on that one. And I can't walk sideways. It may be a mistake to be on top of this thing right now. Oops. At the very, I guess I can just get off here. But that's a little... Oh, I get it. Never mind. That, the reason I did that was because it, when, it, when I knocked it off, it was going to get stuck on these cliffs. And it would, I wouldn't, been able, wouldn't have been able to push them off the cliffs properly without stabbing them or something, which you can't do on this cliff. That's what the problem was. I was wondering why the hell I was... I just trusted the level design. I was like, clearly I'm supposed to stand on this thing, but I didn't really understand why I was standing on the thing. <laughs> Um, so we need a way to get one of these guys on top. Not only does I have to get on top, I have to be able to, to get it off somehow at that point. Uh, let's try stabbing this guy. 
No. I have to be able to climb the ladder. Ew. Sneaky, sneaky. We have other problems now. Can I push you along? The problem right now is that if I stab it, I can't get away. Maybe I can rearrange- I can, yeah, I can rearrange them. It's a- it's a free country. <laughs> um... Very careful with our placement here. Oh, it's on the wall. That's bad. That's bad. I'd rather have it get pushed to the side a little bit first. There. Did that help me at all? Or am I crazy? Well, now I can stab it. Which lets me get on top, but now I can't get it in place anymore. Ah. The fact that that sausage is, plo is clogging that path is driving me crazy right now. I don't see how I would get it, get it out of the way. Unless I could lose my fork. But everything seems like a gradual slope. How would I get rid of the fork? How would I get rid of the fork? Huh. Let's see, can I hook this guy? Not necessarily. Well, I moved it out of the way, so now I can slide past it, probably. There we go. That's all I needed. And now you're gonna just push you back in there or you're gonna get in trouble. Alright. Oh. Minor detail, the part where you can't get out of the way in this situation. Ah, oh, that's frustrating, I forget about that part. Oh! I see what's going on here. We want you to be used as the... Yeah. If that's there, I can walk on it without it being a problem. Which means that this other sausage is the solution. I'm going to push you all the way in. And then I'll... Do I stab you? Wait. That doesn't make sense either, because then I can't move. Because I'll just stab it and sit there like a jackass. Huh. My plan was to stab that. Get on this guy. I can, still can't get on it, though. Your ability to move in this game is... Really strange. It, it, it takes... A mixture of experimentation and pre- and a lot of planning just to- And like, reanalyzing the rules that are available to you to figure out how you're allowed to move in a given situation. Alright. We can't walk along with sausages in that pattern. So I need- I probably need to set things up differently. I kind of feel like I've made some kind of progress here just in the basis of that, like, I can walk across this bridge now. And that's something. But I don't know how to get it- like, I need to have a sausage to grill. I, I... Am I missing something dumb? I, I can't think of how to get that out of that corner. I can't stab it. I can't push it. I can't... I can't find any spot where I can lose my fork to physically walk through there as a one-tile character, which would make it easy. I'm gonna move on without that top sausage for now. One thing I realized is I can carry this upstairs for a while. And, like, it just joins me here. Of course, I need to move things out of the way first. There's gotta be a use for that. In fact, that's almost certainly directly tied to how we get- how we use this particular grill up here. Whoops. Didn't mean to touch it. So we can bring you up here and detach you. If our goal is to put you on the grill... We're basically just gonna want to drop you right along here. And then knock you over, right? There we go. That one's cooked now. But now what? <laughs> Alright, well, that's cooked, but that's not really the problem I was trying to solve, which is how the hell you get this guy out of there. So... Let's recombine. We've established a way of putting those guys up here. These two. Oops. And I said that my goal was to detach the fork so I could just walk that guy through here, because that's the only way- oops. That's the only way, only way I can think to get this guy out of here is to, uh, detach the fork. So we need to create a trap, basically, so that my character can lose his fork. 
Um, this one might be a little tougher. See, this would be the long ledge. Let's move it up one more, I think. Yeah. That's a better position. And then from here, I could walk along this guy. And if, it, if I face the right direction, I think we can do that. Yeah? There we go. Eh, but now I can't get off. So we need to do the same thing. But we need to position it better so that it's going to be... The, the, t this, the, the, the shape of my character right now, that's the fork in the body, that has to be where the, the vertical one rolls. So I can walk up onto that ledge up there. Damn it. Get out of the way. So many little details to reset for. <laughs> right, so we'll go up here. And it has to be... We have to get the depth perception right here. Uh, it's the it's these two in the middle is where the horizontal needs to be. Let's get you around the corner. It's funny how just moving in this game can be a puzzle. It's one of the sort of unexpected little details, I think. Is how much that's something you have to think about is just how you basically move your character around. So you have to be down here for this to work. So we should be good to go now, until I find the new problem. I'm sure there'll be a new one. So now I can get off this guy. And this means that we can now get this guy out of this damn corner. Ta-da! Probably should stop right there so it doesn't get stuck against the wall. Don't want that to happen. How do I get you off? Oh, there's my... I don't want the fork over there, obviously. That's a problem. So how do I proceed from here? Um... Can I create a bridge? Not really. Let's see, right now, if I get on you and walk, start walking around... Oops. Ah! The reverse controls mess with me. Alright. Yeah, can't get off. So new problems are arising. I can't get this guy away from the, sl the the coast right now without my fork. It's stuck there. Is there any benefit for it being stuck there? Pushing this guy in the way doesn't make any sense because I can't get on the ladder. Oh, duh. Holy brain. Come on, man. Catch up. There we go. That guy's cooked. <laughs> It's one of those things, it's like, it's like, a uh, it's like portals in Portal 2, where they start introducing 17 other mechanics that are not the portal, and suddenly you're like, oh, right. This, this, this puzzle's solved by using portals. <laughs> I forgot about those. Uh, we need to push you back a little bit so I can then, oops, push you down. And we're clear. Where's the slit? Right, there's, no, there's nothing complicated about traversing this level, so I can just go right back to the starting point and escape. Ooh, I've escaped! That one took like 20 minutes, I think. Man, okay. What do we... what is that? Wait, is that the final one? No, 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 I'm sure that's pink. It's, I think it's just because it's nighttime. It just looked like a strange color. The final ones are green anyway, what am I talking about? La Land's End. Oh, it's a one sausage puzzle. It's a one sausage puzzle. Bye, fork. I'm just gonna start running for it. I got this. No. All right. That's not the solution. It would never be that simple. I feel like I want to lose the fork just because all we ever do in this world is lose our forks over and over again. What if I want to drop it here, but then climb the ladder for some reason, and then push the- oh, push the fork. Because then the fork will be down here with me. And then I can't move. Push the fork again? Walk on fork? Yeah, I can be being stuck on top of a fork. Oh, I get it. That's why that little thing's up top, is so I can push the fork in that direction. 
dummy. Means I need to... How am I going to manage this? Let's see. I want it to be over here, basically, but then if I climb up, I get it again. That's, which is a problem. So if I drop it here, it's now there. But... How do I get it in the upwards direction? Because I can only push it down from here. Unless there was a way to push the entire sausage out of the way. No, but I can't push the sausage. I start out only being able to step directly onto it. Oh, the conundrums that we have here. Huh. How do solve? Because we have an obvious problem where I can't go anywhere. Besides stand on this sausage. And so I can't put the fork... The ideal situation of putting the fork up there seems rather impossible right now. No. Oh. Push you up by one. Now I'm down here and I have fork. Was that... Is that everything? Did I just solve the puzzle? Wait, is that- wait, 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 is that the whole puzzle? That- that can't- that can't be the whole puzzle, can't- it is, it's just, that's the whole puzzle- okay, fine. <laughs> I thought there was something complicated going on. You just walk over and- wow, yeah, that was- that did not take a, more than a moment. <laughs> the uh, difference in duration that some of these puzzles take can be fascinating. I think this is the last little puzzle on this peninsula. Pressure points. Ooh. Oh, it's the return of the branch. That means we're pompadouring. We're pompadouring. Wait. What's the puzzle here? I'm confused. Because I just cook. I'm just going to start solving it the obvious way, and I'll find out why I can't. <laughs> Because right now it looks like it, I could just solve it without having a puzzle, which is not how this game works. So, uh, let's just see what where the choke point is. It's like, ta-da, it's, it's grilled. Oh, the fence is the entire puzzle here, huh? Because the fez, fence wasn't there, I would just push it to the right. And then, ta-da, it's cooked. Oh. Part of the puzzle here is you can't move for crap. Oh, that's agony. Okay. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> I can't. I can't go over there. I just can't. It's not how the movement works in this game. It's like I can't face up. I can't go in facing up. I have to go in facing that way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You are Satan. Oh man. All right. There's a lot of puzzles in this game, but the most agonizing, frustrating kind of puzzle moments are when you can't figure out how to move your character. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't make my fork face left or right, and then go down. So, because this thing stops me from facing backwards. So I can't walk in there like this. Okay, so presumably then my puzzle's gonna involve losing my fork again. I think. This goes up for a while. Right, it goes all the way up here because I need to stab it and then bring it up there. Let's get that out of the way real quick. I'm supposed to stab you and bring you up there. That's why there's no fence right here. No, that doesn't make sense, actually. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna actually have to use this branch. So we use the branch, you stab you here. Let's see, climb the ladder. And... put you on the right. Oops. Thank God for the one action undo, because I do that constantly. Um... That's not exactly what I meant to do. <laughs> well, I guess I've just got to live with my consequences and my actions. I have I have a meaty pompadour now. Pompadour of meat. Ooh. Wait, is this part of the solution somehow? Now I'm starting to wonder. I don't know how it would be. I feel like stabbing it in certain positions is the... Oh! 
It started off being up and down, right? Now it's horizontal. If I can get it to fall off me in this position, I could push it over there and that would make it stabbable, which would let me s skip through some of that area. Ew. How do I make it stay on? How do I make it get off? There we go. There we go. Oh, don't stand up. No, no, no. Not that kind of puzzle right now, I think. I just did this on accident. If this is the solution, I totally stumbled into it on accident by just by doing the wrong action on top of that tower. I was trying to lose my fork by standing on top of it. But this might be what I need. But I can't make the fork face upwards. Oh no. This was not a solution. This was a trap. <laughs> I've made myself a horrible trap. Save yourself. Um, that was not... Nope. Nope. Hadn't thought that many steps ahead, and it was a mistake. Right, that's not how you, that's not how you stick that guy. Here we go. Why am I doing that? Stop doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about going around... The, the whole thing was caused by me going around backwards. Well, I could just stab it from this side. There's nothing stopping me. I don't know why I thought I couldn't do that. Perhaps the weird shape of the tree. Alright. Let's go lose our fork. Yep. And I'm a forkless bastard. Oh. Guess who didn't fully think that part through? Huh. Ah. I'm trying to think about it. Like, I, if I could put it horizontally, that'd be good. It wouldn't fall over. But then how do I lose the fork in the first place? Because I can't roll off it if it's horizontal into this position. That caused me all sorts of new problems. So now I'm forkless, but I can't get off of the sausage. And everything's a mess. I clearly need to drink more coffee. Is what I'm going to say about this. All I had to do is not push it down. I was thinking about getting it stuck in between the pillars, but if it's just here, then I'm just going to be ha ha. And then ha ha, I'm walking. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's all I had to do. It's all I had to do. Ah. Question is how do I grill something on this? Besides my feet. Uh fact. Oh yeah, I can't really push you at all from around here, can I? Interesting. Yeah, without a fork, what do I accomplish by coming here? I wonder if... Uh, where am I trying to go for with here, actually? I don't... Do I push the fork on top of the sausage? If that's the case, the fork has been illy placed. Maybe if I put it down here... I don't really have a thought process right now, I'm just kind of doing things, to be honest. Maybe that's why you exist? So the fork will be on the ground. And then I can, like, smuggle the fork through this pillar maze. It makes sense. Like, you put the fork in here, and that's why this little bank here exists. Okay, that little piece of level design encourages me to think that we're on the right track here. That's less encouraging. That feels like we're doomed. How would I get past this part? Oh no. Yeah, I'm uh... Concerned now. So we gotta think back some steps, right? What would save me here? Um... Oh! My whole problem here... The whole thing I was trying to accomplish was the fact that in order to get into this thing, my fork had to be facing down, and then I couldn't turn. If my fork was facing up, then I could turn. And everything past here looks pretty free, honestly, so... We gotta go back to when the fork was being dropped. And I gotta make it- I gotta make it face the other direction. Uh, somehow. <laughs> How do I do that? How do I do that, exactly? Oh? I want you to face that way, on my head. But how do knock off? 
So I don't think you, I can rotate you using the tree. You don't stick out like the sausages do, so that gives me some problems. So... If I walked in like this... Sorry, um... I've got to have a plan about which direction I'm going to be facing when it gets on top of my head, basically. Let's see, I can't push it from this side. Oh, that's rough. It's currently pointing left and right, and I need to be pre I need to be facing up and down in order to get on top of my head. But I can only push it off my character in that direction. So I need to somehow rotate the sausage, don't I? Or somehow rotate the direction it's going to fall in, because I can't do that. So how would I... I'm a little stuck. Maybe that is somehow a key. How would that help me, though? Um... I don't see how this is going to help me at all. <laughs> well, it's on my head. It's facing up. Walk. Yes! We got it. Okay. We got it. So I just need to use the little... the part that was sticking out of the tree, which... I should have thought about, because that's like the first thing you often use. Alright, so now it's facing up. I think... that might be it then. Stick it in there. Pop it back. That's not. Need to be, gonna have to want to be behind it first. No. Oh wait, I can just pull you out here. There we go. Cooked. All right, level's over. We solved it. Ha 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 ha! What are we at now? Hesitate to pause. Don't want us to restart the puzzle. Good. All right. A hundred and thirty. There's some progress.